My name is Dustin Wilbanks. I'm executive pastor here at the Cross Loganville. Uh, some buddy of mine, Vic, um, and uh, Vic's going to have the opportunity to be able to baptize uh, one of his friends, uh, Richard Thompson. Come on in, buddy. Um, so baptism is a picture, uh, an outward picture, an outward expression of an inward change that Jesus has already made in someone's life. And we, be, we come to be baptized um, because that's what the scripture says. That after you surrender your life to Jesus, to be baptized um, so that it's a, a picture for others to be able to see that life-changing faith. And so, um, man, Richard grew up in church uh, and, you know, basically got in the water, got dunked when he was younger. Um, but it was no real true surrender in his life. He uh, lived his life for himself for many, many years, and then just recently started coming back uh, to church and really surrendered his life to Jesus um, not long ago. Um, a couple of, uh, a few weeks back, uh, his buddy Vic got baptized, um, and they began to have that conversation um, of Richard getting baptized as well. Um, you know, Vic's been encouraging him, saying, hey man, you've already surrendered your life to Jesus, you're living it for him, so what's stopping you from showing others that picture of salvation? And so um, they were praying about it, talking about it, and uh, at work on Monday, um, they were eating lunch together and hanging out talking, and literally every song that they were listening to talked about baptism. And Richard's been saying, Lord, just send me a message, just tell me. And the Lord said, it's time, brother. And so Vic said, hey, you know what? Let's call the church, and if you want to get baptized on Sunday, let's do it. And so we're here, and that's it, man. And so because of your testimony, gives me great joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the newness of life. <laughs> that's awesome, brother. Good. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. That's awesome. Good. We have Miss Bonnie coming in now. Miss Bonnie. Uh, started coming to church here a couple of months ago, um, and man, it's been incredible just to see just her journey. Um, she uh, lived a very, very rough and difficult life. Um, in fact, a life that was on the streets for many years. Um, had a lot of drug addiction, a lot of things in her life that really consumed her and controlled her. Um, but just last Sunday morning, um, she prayed and she surrendered her life to Jesus, asked her to forgive her and to come in her life and to change her. And because of that, it's a great opportunity to be able to be baptized so that she sees and she knows that that burden is completely lifted from her. And she's laying down that old life of sin and being raised up in that new life of Christ. Elaine has been one of her encouragers who has had the opportunity to be able to uh, pray with her many Sunday mornings and to walk with her through this. And so Elaine gets the privilege of being able to you, baptize her. You do the back part. Let me do the back part. I'll do the front part. All right. Bonnie, it's a joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear with Christ in baptism. Raise the wall. I need us a lot. Drop under the water. Great job. Come out this way. Awesome, Bonnie. Good job, Elaine. We have Sherry and Isabella coming now. You can come in too, Isabella. Have a seat right here. You can come in, Isabella. So this is an incredible story here as well. So, uh... This is Joseph, a buddy of mine that, um, man, he started coming to the church uh, about a year and a half or so ago. We had the opportunity to meet a few times and to be able to talk, and Joseph ended up surrendering his life to Jesus um, and was baptized about a year ago. Uh, from there, his wife, uh, Sherry and Isabella, began to come and, and to see just the opportunity of, of life change that he's had. And she said, you know what, I've always had God around me and in my life, um, you know, but I've never taking that step and being baptized myself. And when she saw him get baptized, it really challenged her to do the same. And so we were talking back before uh, we got in here to do the baptism. And I said, when has been that point where you truly ask God to surrender your life to him, to forgive you and to, to come into your life and to save him? And she had the opportunity to pray right before we came in here and to surrender her life to Jesus, ask him to forgive her and to uh, have that relationship with Jesus. And so baptism is just a picture of that life change. Baptism is an incredible opportunity to be able to show others. So because of that, uh, and it's a, a joy for uh, Joseph to be able to baptize his wife um, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You can go ahead and grab here. All right. Bear with Christ in baptism. Raise the walk. You know, the life. Awesome. You can stand right here. All right, Isabella. Come right here, darling. So this is Isabella, and a, a, about a month or so ago, she began to 
ask about being baptized herself. And, you know, then we had the opportunity, Rachel and some others had the opportunity to be able to explain what baptism is and that we surrender our life to Jesus. And because of that, then we are baptized. And so, Isabella, it's a great joy to have both your mom and your dad to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear with Christ in baptism. Grace to all. Community.